Hi, I'm Kristen Bird for Red Carpet Report, and we are here for the 22nd Annual Art Directors Guild Awards. I loved this series. I've got to imagine for you, this was such a fun look back in time to be able to create. It was so much fun, and getting to do like two such different characters and creating their worlds was amazing. Ryan was an amazing leader. It was my first time doing television, and it was couldn't start a better way. Yeah, you're working with some of the best in TV. What were some of the challenges in TV that you haven't experienced in film? Um, it's, it was sort of a challenge, but it was actually the thing I liked best was that we keep getting scripts, so I keep getting new sets to do, and it's constantly stimulating, challenging, and creatively, creatively stimulating. So that was great, because on a movie at a certain point, I know what everything's done, and then I'm just thinking about nothing, really. So kind of hanging out. Yeah, so that was really, really fun. What about um, when it comes to uh, certain sets, because everything was so rich and lush, do you have a favorite set that in any episode? I do, but my favorite set is not most people's favorite set. I'm from New York, and I live in New York, and my favorite set is Joan's New York apartment at the end, because I walked into it, and I was like, I wish I lived here. You know, I built it. I designed it for me, maybe. So Not bad. I it. Yeah, I love the built-in bookcases and the clean, modern lines of it. So for me, that was my favorite. Any future plans to work with Ryan Murphy? Well, I just finished um, The Assassination of Johnny Versace, American Crime Story, and the pilot for Pose, which we shot in New York. So I, I made it back home, and I'm sure we'll work together in the future. Uh, quick question, since you did Versace, obviously Miami, much different than what you were creating between Hollywood and New York. What did you love about creating the Miami looks? Because that's a whole different ball of wax. Versace was, it was really different than Feud, and it was, it's such an over-the-top story in so many ways. It has Johnny Versace's world. It has a serial killer. It has a high and low. And that was something Feud didn't have. Feud is mostly in the glamorous world of Hollywood. And Versace goes from seedy, seedy motel in Miami to, you know, Casa Cosparina, where Versace lived. So that was really, really fun. And spending time in Miami Beach was really fun. Um, couldn't have asked for anything better. And just sort of capturing that Art Deco um, rose-tinted light feel of Miami Beach was something that was really fun to do. Awesome. Well, congratulations on the nomination. We're wishing you the best. Thank you much. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and in the comments below, let us know what film you would like to live in from 2017.